Jerusalem, the focus of the deepest yearnings and fondest dreams of all the Jewish people. Jerusalem, emphasized constantly by all the prophets of Israel, from Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel, to Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. And it is here in Jerusalem that we have established the yeshiva of the Jewish idea, Yeshivat Hara'ayon. On the ground floor of an old Jerusalem building, scores of young men study our holy Torah. Their teachers are Rabbi Meir Kahana and a hand-picked rabbinic staff, especially selected to develop a unique type of yeshiva student. Physical conditions are harsh. The premises are far too small and cramped to accommodate all students. The dining room and kitchen are extremely modest, but the food is tasty and wholesome. Meals are always accompanied by Divrei Torah. Torah study is a vibrant experience at the yeshiva of the Jewish idea. The walls are covered with portraits of great contemporary sages and martyrs, Jews of the underground who gave their lives for the Jewish people. This is the guiding spirit behind the yeshiva's educational philosophy. What makes this yeshiva different from all other yeshivot? There are thousands in Israel, in the world. Why another yeshiva? And the answer is it's not another yeshiva. It's a different yeshiva. It's come to meet the tragedy that has befallen not only Jews, but Judaism over 2,000 years of the Galut, of the exile. Because of the fact that we were exiled from our own country, what happened to Judaism is that it became perverted, changed. It became a religion, and it is not a religion. We are a holy nation, an Am Kadosh, and the Jewish people is one that stands on two legs, nationalism and religion. And together they combine a Jewish nation, a holy people. We are a people that keeps the mitzvot. We've lost that concept. Today you have Jews that are nationalist Jews and don't observe the mitzvot. They are cripples on one foot. And then you have Jews that keep the mitzvot and are in Zionist, they don't know what Israel is. They are cripples on the other foot. The reason why God made the Jews with, with two feet is that they should understand that there was Judaism and the nation and they combined to be a holy nation. When we consider who the Gedolim really were once upon a time when they lived in Eretz Israel, David, he would rise at midnight every night to sit and learn Torah. In the morning he would go up and kill the Philistines. What Rosh Yeshiva today thinks of going out to kill the Philistines? And what general thinks of sitting and learning Torah? David is the symbol to us of the Rayon Hayudi, the Jewish idea. Another tragedy is that we have lost the concept that we do the mitzvah because of Ulmah because the Almighty commanded us to. We don't keep the mitzvah because we approve of it. I sit and I see the Torah. I like page two and I like page three, but page four I don't like, and so I tear it out. The concept of Ol Machut, that we accept upon ourselves the yoke of Torah, and many of the other concepts, and many are the ideas that we don't approve of. The Jew who was born in the West is influenced by Gentile culture, by Hellenism. And many of those concepts are at odds with Judaism. The concept of, of nikama vengeance. In the Western world, that's a terrible thing. In Judaism, it is sometimes a great thing. The concept of hating the enemy. Of course, one hates the enemy. Of course, one who doesn't know how to hate evil does not know how to love good. And so these are concepts that we teach here. And these are concepts which are not taught in the yeshivot in the 
the yeshivot, what you have, are practitioners of Jewish rituals. The mitzvah is a tree, and so they learn trees. We teach the forest, and where each tree belongs, where each mitzvah's place is in the forest. That's why we place such emphasis upon Tanakh, the Bible. In what yeshiva do they learn today, Tanakh? Who learned the Bible? It's become a forgotten thing, and that's why we have forgotten the role models, the real role models, who were the great Jews when they were normal. You can only be normal when you live in your own country. That's why the shoftim, the judges, the kings, were all Tamidei Hamim, they were scholars, but they went to war too. They were normal. We've forgotten that because we don't study Bible. And that's why it is taught here not only on a shallow, but in depth. And the final point is, I've studied in the Shivot, many, many of the famous ones. You have scholars who can come out and after 13 and 14 years do not know a halacha. And so one is given smicha and the phone number of some great rabbi. We teach here halacha. We teach a sugya, a portion of the Talmud, and at the end we immediately go to what is the halacha. So that Torah does become a very, very beautiful theory. It is a beautiful theory. And in practice, how does one practice it? Yeshivat HaRayon. We purposely chose that name. The Yeshiva of the authentic Jewish idea. It is an idea whose time has, has finally come. And is long overdue. With God's help, Bezat Hashem, from this Yeshiva will come forth the Jewish leaders, the scholar warrior. That's what was always meant to be, the scholar warrior. <laughs> Students celebrate the conclusion of a tractate of the Talmud with deep joy in the fulfillment of a sacred mitzvah. doing it for, for the Klal Yisrael, not just for our personal uh, reward. And uh, that doesn't happen in every yeshiva. Most, most yeshivas, you know, you learn, you go home, and it's a mitzvah to learn and to uh, have a, a house that's, uh, and learn how to have, have a Jewish family. But here we're, we're going for the, we feel we're going for the, the whole ball game. And uh, it's, it's, a more exci it's an exciting feeling to, to build yourself and to build the nation all at once. And the uniqueness is not only in the, in the in the material learning, the subjects learned. In, in uh, every yeshiva, you, you learn Gemara. But here, besides learning Gemara, there's, uh, you learn Tanakh, Bible, and you learn uh, Midrashim. And uh, the Jewish philosophy in general is, uh, is approached in a, in a way which is not approached in other yeshiva. The, the difference is, is in the way that, uh, that here we're constantly striving for the truth, to, to, know what, to understand really what, what, uh, what, what is uh, to be learned without any uh, affiliation to, any, to anything. We're willing to learn from one, spec one end of the spectrum to the other, any topic, but uh, to understand what is really the truth. And that makes it really a privilege to, uh, to learn here. In the eastern part of Jerusalem, adjoining a neighborhood inhabited by violent, rioting Arabs, we have acquired a three-story building to serve the ever-increasing needs of the yeshiva of the Jewish idea. And so this is the building. From here shall come forth Torah. From here shall come forth Torah scholars, the real scholars, the scholar warriors, those that were always meant to be, the future leaders of Israel, those who will do for you. Think of how much it has cost us. Think of the monies that have gone into this. And now we turn to you. What they do, they do for you. Now is the time for you to do for them.